Hey, howdy everybody, welcome back to me and my channel and my stuff and my things. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Today I'm checking out, finally, Vola in Mazes. This one has been a long time coming. I don't know why I put it off this long. I'm sorry. I don't want to wait any longer. I'm just going to pull this up and I'm going to put my headphones on and I'm going to hit play and it's like 11 p.m. You know what? I don't care. I hit a thing on my thing, and if it sounds weird on the mic, who cares? If it doesn't, I sound like a madman right now. Let's go. Hitting play. Heavier Volo, okay. Nice. This is weird. Oh my goodness, sorry. Why do I keep bumping my mic, bro? That's a contortionist chord. Egg shaker? Huh? What? Excuse me? What is this? Oh, I love these synths, bro. These synths make me so happy. It's so good listening to more Vola. I don't know why I put this off for so long. Why did I do that? Why? Every time I listen to Vola, I'm like, I need to listen to Inmazes, and I just never did. I don't know why. <laughs> the second half of this song is perfect. I mean, first song, or first half is really good, but second half is even better oh i can't wait until the millionth time i've listened to this album and i i just i'm singing along i know all the words i know all the that's me with witness and applause now there's your vola synth lead that's really good actually for real whoa paula <laughs> what is this Ooh, the major and minor switch up. This is major, but then it goes minor. Ooh. Oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> I love Bola so much. Why am I getting so emotional, dude? This hits. This hits so hard. Ah. Oh. They're so special. They're such a special band. This is so good. This is so weird. Oh, what is it about that synth that they do that's so magical? What is it about the synth? These guys are the masters of doing so much with not a lot. The best part of the song is the simple... It's just that little synth part. Every time that came back, I was like, let's go. This is so fire. I... I just love Vola. I'm going crazy. I don't want to speed through this album, but also I need more Vola in my ears right now, so I gotta keep going. That's a great riff. Scream Vola? The rare Vola screams? Yes! <laughs> what a weird harmonic change in the chorus there. Hang on, what in the world? <laughs> Bro, I... <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I'm not cutting this out because that's hilarious, but I thought there was a bug in my eye. A hair fell down 
and it got wedged between my glasses and my my eye and then i blinked and it moved in such a way where it felt like there was a bug in my eye and i freaked out for a second there i'm very sorry but it's okay there's no bug we're good we are we are certified bug free right now that is such a harmonically weird song that may be the strangest vola song harmonically i love these like those those synths you know like test track and spaceship earth at epcot if you've ever heard the soundtracks for that it's like like an old way of thinking about what the future will be like in music form does that make sense like the test track soundtrack just like epcot as a whole basically that's what that reminds me of little uh like twinkling synths that's the kind of vibe i'm getting compared to witness and applause this album is way more harmonically prog like the chord structure and the the key changes that come out of like nowhere it's kind of crazy all right let's go get it vola get it yeah yeah i don't know let's go he sounds like he's on the verge of laughing and the tiny sound she is he's about to bust out in hysterics See what I mean? Like, what in the world is that? Can't wait to li listen to this album many more times. This is so peaceful. I could fall asleep to this section. No one does it like Vola, man. Nobody comes close. I can't wrap my head around this yet. It's going to take many more listens to get this because when I'm just being bombarded by these key changes and these core changes that come out of nowhere and make no sense, I'm just kind of at a loss for words right now. <laughs> I adore this. Yeah! That is the most unvola riff I've ever heard in my life. And then you have some ding dong chimes, bro. See what I'm talking about? What are they doing? Straight up nothing but vibes right now. That's such a good chorus. Go sin. Go sin. This feels like Vola, but with a little bit more core influence and i think they really found their sound with witness and applause there's elements of this that feel like generic metalcore like the like that riff but then it goes into like the twinkly synths and you're like oh this is not generic metalcore this is vola i think witness is uh their best album for sure and this one I'm feeling conflicted on. I love everything I've heard, but it's very strange. Their thing, like I said, is doing so much with so little. And they're doing so much with a little and then a lot in the background, kind of. There's like there's one part that's really, really good, and then there's like doo -doo 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 -doo, the guitars and the drums are just going. And that one part is there, whether it be like the twinkly stuff here or like the stuff I praised in other songs. It's there, but I think it's not as much of a focus as it is in later music in their discography, and that's the stuff I really love. Like, especially on I Don't Know How We Got Here, that little synth in the beginning that sounds like uh, Solo by Future. <laughs> I'm kind of getting those early vibes where they're still trying to find their sound. I think they really found it with applause and then witness is just more of that. If this keeps this vibe, this is going to be my favorite song 
on this album. This is the best song so far, and we're only less than a minute in. Yes. Mm, this is the best song on the album so far for sure. Emily away. Oh my goodness. I'm getting chills from this. This is insane. That song was so good. Let's keep going. I think I have the beat. I think I have it. Let's find out. I got it. Let's go. Skill. This is beautiful. Oh. Let's watch the moon. Oh my goodness, dude. This is beautiful too. Oh, he's going back to that. They're repeating the sec. They're repeating it. Oh. Bro, I'm crying right now. This. <laughs> what? Is this? What is this? No one does it like Vola, bro. No one does it like Vola. <laughs> bro. Bro. Immediate playlist ad. Okay, the first half of the album was good. But it was not that good. That's up there with 24 light years and like alien shivers and green screen mother. And I don't know how we got here as like my with, with my favorite Vola songs. Can these next three tracks be that good? Back to this interesting, riffy, genty kind of strange thing from the first half of the album. It's not what I'm used to with Vola. Huh? What is this? What is this? That was weird. That was a weird one. I didn't like that quite as much as some of the other ones. This is a vibe. Good job not going too hard. Keep it chill. I love the chorusy vocal effect. It sounds so cool if you close your eyes. I'd be slumbering right now. I know I am. So stupid, bro. Why did I say that? <laughs> Good build. They're doing the Epcot synths again. And there's only one song left. That song was good. That was one of my favorites on this album as well. It had a great build. It had a really cool, just like, separation of the sections. It felt very sectioned, but in a good way. It was like, this is the intro part. Then here it builds a little bit, and then the, the heavier stuff comes in, and it gets more exciting, and then there's like a little chill part, and then it comes back and it picks up again. Overall, really good structure. We doing a 12-ton thing here? This is so weird. That's so weird. I love it. This is very creepy. This is a vibe, dude. Where did this beautiful part come from? This part really feels like a, an outro track. Interesting that that weird synth thing that was doing the triplets throughout the entire song. It mazes. It mazes. It's weird that the, that synth part was doing triplets, like I was saying, before he said the title and I had to say it. Interesting that that is now the vocals are doing the triplets. Uh, 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 uh. This feels like a very happy outro track. La 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 
I'm getting Coldplay vibes from this. I think I've compared them to Coldplay a little bit before. Just because Coldplay is another band that does so much with so little very well. In more of a pop sense though. Very happy ending to this album. I'm fine with that fade out. Normally I criticize fade outs, but that was a well done fade out. I finally listened to In Mazes, guys. You can all shut up now. I finally checked it out. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad I did. This, I have some thoughts. I feel very weird about this album because Gutter Moon is number one, absolutely. Emily is strong, number two. And then the rest are kind of just like, yeah, this is Vola, but it's not as good as Applause or Witness. This is number three behind Applause number one, Witness number two. And then this one, just because I, I think they were still sort of finding their sound in this album. I feel more elements, like I said, of some generic core instead of what Vola is, which is like their own thing. They've kind of carved out their own niche. There's not really anybody that sounds like them. I just love this slightly less than Witness and Applause. It's very close, though. I'm going to give this album a banger. It's very good. Doesn't creep its way to, into Masterpiece for me. The only Vola album that does is Applause. And then I think this and Witness are both in the banger tier. But it's still a very good album. I'm still really glad I listened to it. And I cannot wait for the new album. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Thanks for your support. Catch you in the next video. Bye bye